sometimes called the Alfold Plain, this 50-odd square miles of perfectly level grazing ground has a romantic interest for the Hungarians. In the wild, primitive lives of the herdsmen, they find a survival of the nomadic existence of their Tatar ancestors, who swept into Europe from the steppes of Asia during the Mongol invasions, to be finally halted on the banks of the Danube. Like all barbaric conquerors, they remained and gradually adopted the native mode of life. Even the animals have a romantic history. These white, longhorn steers are direct descendants of the cattle brought by the Romans before the Christian era began. A curiously hardy and prolific strain. As you see, the long, graceful horns are useful as well as ornamental. For eight months of the year, flocks and herds of every kind roam this wild region, each with its human caretaker, guarding it day and night. The lives of these shepherds could hardly be more primitive. The midday meal consists of bread and a slice of bacon roasted over a fire of dried animal dung, the only available fuel. Tending these six curly-haired pigs is the life work of this ancient relic. As in every other part of the world, social distinctions exist, and here they are dependent entirely upon the kind of animals in their charge. Swine herds and shepherds are at the bottom of the social ladder, the horseman at the top. The dash and danger of his life makes him the aristocrat of the range. His horses are a fast, well-built native breed and graze over the entire plain. Isolated huts scattered here and there provide shelter and a meeting place for the herdsmen, whose costumes, particularly the hats and coats, vary according to their calling. A little human companionship over a pot of goulash is a pleasant break in the lonely monotony of their days. Night finds the herdsman with his herd, wrapping himself in his great coat and lying down under the stars. His dog, the companion of his lonely vigil. <laughs> 